what is up guys Wesley here um so i was sitting here doing a cover of a trevor daniel song when i realized that this would be a great idea to throw this on youtube and show you guys how you can make your voice sound like trevor daniel um i've been recently listening to a lot of his music i love the way his vocals sound so i decided to hop into fl and try and recreate it um so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you guys what my vocals sound like raw uh, just letting you guys know this is a terrible vocal take so it's just kind of showing you that you can make your vocals sound good even if your vocals sound bad um, so I'm gonna play this for you show you what it sounds like raw doing pretty well on my own but inside of my own head this is what I've said okay you get the idea so what I did here was when I tracked this I just kind of copied the actual song sang on top of it um, and I grabbed an instrumental version um, so here's what I'm doing to the vocals so you can hear it with the presets. Um, what we're doing here is we have an auto tune, recorrecting all those pitches that I'm not hitting or slightly off just to make it sound a lot better. Um, we have a fresh air kind of bringing out the mids and the highs. Um, this is an awesome plugin. I think it might be free. Um, and then we have a OTT with a limiter, just kind of cutting out the low. Uh, background noise I think it helps the vocals sound less muddy so I always add that on there um, this is the sauce right here pro R an awesome reverb I made this uh, pretty much setting on here where it just gives a nice background to the vocal as well which you'll hear um, then we have a pro 3 EQ just uh, cutting out a little bit of the uh, low end and uh, adjusting the high end too and then a uh, vocal compressor which is making the vocals stand out a little bit stronger. I really love this preset that I'm using on here. It's called uh, Crystal Clear. And then with this, I'm adding it to another track, which is doing this, which I actually don't have on here, but this is a reverb wash, you can kind of adjust it on there for automations, a de another de an OTT, and then I also have an Ozone here. Um, so I'm gonna turn these on so you can hear what it sounds like with the mix. Doing pretty well on my own, but inside of my own head, this is what I've said. Kill me better. You said you never. You keep adding pressure to the wound. Super sick. Um, as you can see here, I also added some other tracks below it. Um, I wanted to show you guys something that you could do, which I didn't do in here, but I think layering is very important when it comes to vocals. Um, what I did here was just add two of the exact same track, but what you want to do is you would want to have a main vocal like this, and then you'd want to take two additional takes and spread them out um, to just make it sound more full and wider. Um, you could also do harmonies so you could do one that's a little bit of a lower pitch one that's a little bit of a higher pitch i didn't do that on here but i just want to show you how strong you can make one vocal with just these presets um, but that's also probably something i'm going to do in the future where i do a massive project and show you all the layering i think that's very helpful um, so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to include this preset that i made in the description um, I really appreciate all your guys' support. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I will answer all your questions. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.